yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk, guys. Welcome back. Hope you have a fantastic day out there, guys. Here's a weird tank. I think it's weird. It's been out for a long time. Uh, you don't see it a lot. Pirani sent me this, and he was right. He said, that, you know, here's a tank you don't see very much. It is the old Yag Tiger 8.8, .8, which is a Tier 9 hole. So the Yag Tiger at Tier 9, but it's got the little peep peep, like 240 Alpha little squirt gun guy on there. Yeah, 240 Alpha with all kinds of pen looking at 212 to 194 average, although that's less than I thought, to be quite honest, on its standard round. Its APCR goes up to 217 to 237. I don't know. That's less than I would have guessed. I thought it had a massive, amazing pen. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It's slow. We know that, but it's got Tier 9 Yag Tiger armor. Of course, it's also a casemate. Not particularly fast. I haven't seen this battle, so I don't know. Lots of options. With this tank on an all tier 8 battle, you could go up the hill and uh, take them on. It would take you a while to get there, so you do have to be cognizant of your speed. You could go down into the factory area or the, I don't know, is it really a factory? What is that actually? The, a boat hangar? The docks? Whatever. Over here and shoot down the, uh, what is it, the corridor? Or is it a corridor? Yeah, shoot down the corridor. Or... Man, I was a little bit worried there, Prani. I thought you were going up to the Sniper Hill, but you are not. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to get a little cheeky. I don't know. Wow, all right. That guy, uh, this is a good spot, right? Because you he can't destroy. He can't. Nice. All right, so take note, fellas. See those? His lower hole is protected. And that's the thing about this tank. The casemate is extremely thick. Not really well angled, but it's very thick. And he's protecting that very vulnerable, largy lower plate and just sitting here punishing this poor IS-3 who just hates life right now. And then this guy's going to hate life. No, okay, we only got a crit off that. Okay, nicely angled by the other, uh, or the IS-3A. This guy's going to, look how fast this shoots. That's the thing, you're not doing very much with a shot, but you shoot extremely fast. This guy's hating life, man. <laughs> He is hating life. Prani is just dropping pain on these guys. They're kind of pinned down by him. It is a TD that can actually do the tracking pin down trick. One thing you do have to watch out for here is there is a Su-14-4, so at some point he may get wind of Prani sitting out here in the open and take a shot and start paying attention to Prani. It looks like you probably will have an angle. There's an already shot into the IS-3. And pretty quick, quickly, Prani's uh, got a 1,000 total. This guy's, he's really hating it. That's just a horrible place for him to be. Yeah, I would agree. Shoot that down. That'll give you more options, at least as far as seeing what is poking out. Oh, dang. That's, oh, that is a bummer. That really felt like it should have been a pen. Yeah, the, the angling right there. It's going to be hard, I think, to sneak a shot in there. I don't know, maybe some HE. Down goes the CC-67. Gets thumped. We're <laughs> just pinning this poor guy down. Nothing he can do. That is that is one of the things about the Yag Tiger 8.8. .8. It can be extremely annoying. Look how fast it's reloading. I want to say it's five or six seconds, something like that. It's kind of a medium tank. Yeah, he did switch to HE. There we go. He's just going to pick this poor guy apart now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's like, oh, this sucks. Oh, he actually covered himself completely up. All right. Well, maybe that angle was better for friendly tanks to shoot him. Looks like it was. So we switch back to the AP. We have the IS-3A sitting on the ramp. This is going to be bad for him. Nice little move. I like that. That is an auto loader, so that is going to hurt a little bit if he's able to put a couple into the lower plate there. Yeah, I think you scooch across there. Uh oh, oh boy! Now we got guys on both sides. That's no bueno. Looks like he's gonna try to. There we go. Yep. Wow. Okay, we got guys on both sides. That's not good. We have the shipping containers behind us. That will keep the Yag Panzer or the Kanonen Panzer from having an easy shot. Anyway, but we've only got 687 hit points. Got a Kanonen behind us. Kanonen can't really make a move because the Scorpion's back there. And it looks like Pirani's pinned down a bit right now. He's bounced 2,340, done almost 1,000, and assisted 576. Team's not doing 
spectacular here as you're going to spin around and try to finish off this guy. Okay, very nice. 703 takes out the Kanonen. The IS-3A does not make a move, and it doesn't look like he had a shot on our hero anyway, so we're going to take a peek. What is the IS-3A doing? Looks like he's up higher. No, nope, he's getting pushed by an M3Y, and you're just hoping that guy pushes him a little bit further down, but he's... Okay. Oh, this is going to work. There we go. What? Oh, no! What? What just happened? There's one. Quick reload. Didn't need it. And we can start... Picking apart the Nurgle. Looks like we got into that track. So the front of the Nurgle there is pretty amazing what it can do in terms of tracking people. But you've got some nice pin and oh, we bounced that unfortunately. So T28 is in there. But they're busy as well. They've got some guys on the other side of them. At least the Barask it looks like is in there messing with them a little bit. Prani's made a living from this about 50 meters of space. Look at that. That's the other thing I haven't talked about on this gun. It is very accurate. Look at this. Boink. Oh, come on now. Come on now, game. What are you doing? No, nope, that bounce. Look at that shell just went straight up in the air. Blesk is moving in. T27 takes out the T28. There's an ISU next to us. Nurgle has fallen back into the factory or whatever it is there, into the large building. The ISU is sitting on the edge. Looks like they have an advantage down in the south. So if we can peel out this ISU and the T-28, the ISU will one-shot us, provided he's got the big gun on there. Is this guy going to come out? He is. Fantastic. Trying to get away from the Barask. Grom takes out the ISU. Nice little advantage. Now what do we do, fellas? Let's take a look at this. What do we do? It looks like Prani's pushing. I would be a little bit worried about shots from the south or the Scorpion and KPZ getting pushed. There's another IS-3A that has not been spotted. Makes me wonder if he is AFK. There's also a Scorpion unspotted. I would imagine he is up there. Well, he's probably on the sniper hill or the sniper spot, to be honest. Maybe he has an IS-3A buddy sitting on the sniper spot at A1. Let's find out. What do you think, guys? Is the IS-3A AFK, is he on the sniper spot, or is he somewhere around the Udez and the S1? Well, we found the Su-14, but nobody's taking hits. That's something you can watch for, fellas, when you see a push like that and you're a slower tank. Watch for the other tanks that are pushing to get hit. Let's say the Barosk took about a 400 to 500 hit point slap. That's probably the Scorpion. Let's say it's more like a 390-360 and another shot comes out pretty quickly. That's probably the IS-3A, which is now right there. So he was sort of up the hill. The Udez pushed. Oh, and they get a lot of work out of that, guys. They got a lot of work out of that. The Grom, the Scorpion, the Brosk all die right in a row. Mm-mm-mm. Does their Scorpion have a kill? He does not. So still unknown where their Scorpion is. And this IS-3A... This IS-3A is full hit points. The Artie is still alive. Can the Scoti get back there and kill him? Looks like Pirani's trying to figure out how he's going to deal with this IS-3A, which looks like is fairly intent on just pushing him and taking him out. Scorpion does a, does him a solid and, and is able to put a thump on him. Now hide, Scorpion. Don't die, buddy. There you go. There you go. Double teaming the IS-3A. Looks like the IS-3A was not... A, oh, 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 man. I wouldn't have closed like that. That's all right, though. You got him. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Not good. He got us once. Can we finish him off? There we go. T27 is going to help us out. All right. All right. Got all three of them. And a couple other guys died in there while I was talking and watching the IS-3A. I think maybe you closed a little too, bit, too much on that. I know what you were doing there, trying to keep the Scorpion alive and keep the IS-3A busy. But I think if you would have stood off a little bit, you might have been able to aim and get some better shots. Now the Scorpion has showed up. So he was up the hill. Interesting. No kills. I wonder what his hit points of damage are. 
doesn't seem to have done much. The Sturve push, the KPZ is still sitting back. I guess he's trying to not be killed by the Sturve. We don't really know what the hit points of our KPZ are. He was last seen in good health. We're all low hit points though. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Scorpion can one shot us. It's gonna take he's gonna take two to kill the Skoda unless he loads H E. And the Scorpion's one shot. There he goes. Skoda took a hit. Skoda should get three into him. Uh, nope, he didn't push him. Oh boy. Sturve came back. Sturve was close enough, so we know the Sturve's nearby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Gathering SA off the minimap and how people die. So the T-71 was up there with the Scorpion, but the Sturve had a shot. Now he could be could be over here somewhere, but he's at least close enough to shoot this area. So where he was last, he's nowhere near that. All right, He's probably still somewhere on the southern part of the map down here, but he's not in this corner anymore. Hopefully the case KPZ will take that uh, information into consideration. This is getting dangerous. I'm a little bit nervous here because the Scorpion is sort of in between... The friendly scorpion is sort of in between the Sturve and the enemy scorpion. They're both there, all right? So they're both in that corner. Yeah, we're going to lose the scorpion, I believe. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe the Artie can do some work. So we're sitting on the cap. Boy, this is... Yeah. Uh-oh, Piranti says. <laughs> yep. So the problem now is, even though he's a TD, he doesn't have enough oomph to kill one of them with a one shot. I think they both can take two from him. And it's highly unlikely he's going to bounce both their shots. The KPZ needs to be charging hard. That is terrible. So his, oh boy, yeah. So his gameplay is crushing the life out of him. That is not good. All right, he's spotted, unfortunately. Here's another problem that sucks quite a bit with casemates. Notice his gun, how much lower than the top of his casemate there is. Notice we have no pixels on the stirb. It is possible the stirb will get a shot on the top of our casemate before we get a shot on the top of the stirb, especially with how flat the stirb is. This is uh, this is bad. All right, Artie does us a solid. That was very nice. Where is the scorpion? I like this zoom out. Is he going to try to get in behind us? What happened? I guess the scorpion just didn't try. Oh, are we going to sneak a shot on this guy? That would be fantastic. There we go. Take him out. Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't matter. Didn't matter. He couldn't get couldn't get in and take a shot, so his timing was a bit off. What happened to the scorpion, fellas? I wonder if maybe... I guess he was worried about the KPZ. Maybe he was even watching the KPZ. Maybe he was in a bush and saw him. Didn't get a shot or took a shot and missed or what? I don't know, man. That was... Honestly, if the Scorpion and the enemy Sturve had both pushed, I think Pirani probably dies there. But really nicely done, man. We got a kill. 2,574 damage, 846 assist. A tank you don't see a whole lot in the game anymore, but really in the right position, it's got some strengths, right? That really fast rate of fire. Not a high alpha, but quite a punishing DPM over time if you can continue to pen. It's got decent pen with the AP, pretty good with the APCR. And it is a TD that can track things with just a cyclical gun, which is relatively unusual, especially for higher tier 8, 9, and 10 TDs. They tend to have very long reload times, and if they don't, there may be an auto-loader or auto-reloader, and of course you can't track for very long with one of those. But this thing can pink, 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 and can be extremely annoying, although it is a casemate. But it's got armor, right? It's got a tier 9 hole that's down-tiered because of the gun, at tier 8. Most of the tanks in the game that are down tiered are pretty good because every basically everything else or most of the other things that it had at the higher tier are still with it other than the gun. Generally it's the gun they down tier sometimes the engine a little bit things like that but they very often have the same armor so you take a tier 9 armored tank and you down tier it to 8 even though you give it kind of an anemic gun it still ends up being pretty darn good because that's a lot of armor for a tier 8 right there. All right, fellas, that's all I've got. Prani, thanks for sending that in. Nifty little game right there. Little a cat and mouse at the end. I like it. That's all I've got for today. Have a great one. We will see ya.